out, and this is the reason. Hi, I'm Harlan. And I'm Vance. And we're going to be teaching you how to dress for winter. But we don't have any fur feathers or fat. What do we need? Clouds! Yeah! Having layers will allow you to adjust as the day heats up, cools down, or as you generate heat running. We'll start with the base layer. To make sure you are warm enough and your sweat doesn't stick around, start with the base layer. This layer is all about controlling perspiration. Next up is the mid layer. This is all about trapping the heat your body radiates. Fleece, down or synthetic down, or wool are all great options. Lastly is our shell. This is our shield to protect us from the wind and the snow. It's important that we have a really nice warm winter jacket. On cold snowy days, I like to wear ill my snow pants. On cold snowy wet days, I like to wear rain pants. You want to make sure you are wearing snow pants and that your jacket is long enough to make sure your mid body, where all your organs are, stay nice, warm, and covered. Tuck gloves into your winter jacket. Cold hands can ruin a fun day, so make sure your gloves are waterproof. Generally, mittens are warmer than gloves. For really cold days, you can do, use hand warmers or foot warmers. Tuck your pants into your socks and put your snow pants over your boots to prevent snow from getting into your shoes and getting your feet cold and wet. We lose a lot of heat through our heads and protecting our ears and nose from the chilly weather is super important. So make sure you bring a warm hat or toque that covers your ears and wear a neck warmer. You want to make sure you stay away from anything made of cotton, such as denim or cotton t-shirts. Cotton holds on to moisture, such as sweat and melting snow, and doesn't hold on to heat. Instead, look for down, wool, or synthetics, like fleece. Last but certainly not least, shoes. Make sure you can still wiggle your toes in your boots. They have to be waterproof and insulated, and should have rubberized soles to help you keep your grip. Boots should extend up past the ankles before coming out to the weasel head for our snowshoeing programs. Get all dressed up and play in your backyard or neighborhood and check how well your clothing options work. Make sure you bring water and stay hydrated and use the washroom before your outdoor adventure. Now you're all ready to come out and explore with us at the Weasel Head Natural Area Park.